Hello everybody and welcome to Best Kind Gaming. Today we're playing some Fallout 4, I'm Edane, and I am going to be showing you how to make Fallout 4. No fun at all. So you can see right here I'm looking at a level 45 legendary vampiric blood bug. Um, Level 45 is the same level as me, I just wandered around the wasteland a little bit, the southern part of the commonwealth, to try to, to find something that was worthy of a demonstration. And uh, I'm going to show you how my build works, and tell you why it breaks the game. So first of all, you can see this Deathclaw hand here. Um, take a swing, give you a better look. Uh, so, and you'll also notice that I am wearing a dress. And that's not, there's no armor or anything on that dress, it's just a regular dress, gives me a little bit of charisma. Uh, and that's because, that's my attempt to uh, to make things a little bit more challenging. I'm playing on survival mode right now, or survival difficulty. So this is hard, as hard as it can get on the Xbox without any mods or anything like that. Um, and I've taken off all my armor and things and all the uh, all the little bits that give me bonus strength or bonus melee damage and all that. And I'm going to punch this legendary vampiric blood bug apart. So let's see, you got a little gotta get a little bit closer. Maybe wondering if you're not familiar with the perks, why I'm even checking. I'm checking because oh no, this may be a bad example may not be able to punch this guy at all because he's flying. Oh yeah, okay. I'm checking because there's a perk called Blitz that lets you teleport in um, a certain distance whenever you're using a melee attack in VATS. So, let's see. So here's a level 45 legendary enemy. And I'm wearing a dress, so no combat boosts at all outside of my perk selection and whatnot. And he's dead. So I know a blood bug is not maybe the most intimidating enemy, but that is still a level 45 legendary. And I can assure you the same thing would happen if it was a level 50 Deathclaw or something like that, because I've done it. So I'll show you how it works. So as as you may have noticed, the, uh, the items are not really very important. And it's all about the perks. So you do need a unarmed weapon. Uh, it would be about the same with a melee weapon as well, uh, like a baseball bat or you know a sledgehammer or whatever. Um, I use the, the melee weapons just because it's fun to punch things, and occasionally you get um, they'll do like a suplex or snap somebody's neck or something like that when you get a a stealth kill. So this is like a lot of the other um, a lot of the other offensive perks. You just get damage boosts as you go up. Uh, one of note, in addition to the crippling limbs, which a lot of the weapons get, like pistols get that, and I think rifles and things, but uh, you get a pretty good chance to disarm your opponent right here. So when you're starting out, before you're one-shotting everything, um, Iron Fist gives you a pretty good chance that after your VATS assault is over, the enemy you're facing will not be holding a weapon anymore. And then once you get to level 46, Criticals and Vats will paralyze your opponent, um, which is, is basically the same as killing them because the paralyze lasts uh, a good long time. Not quite level 6 yet, level 46 yet, but uh, that's how it works. Uh, armor and blacksmith mods, not too important. One of the other important ones is Rooted. So you get damage resistance, which is important because uh, things will be shooting at you while you're doing your um, your Vats attacks. And it's worth noting that when you're doing a VATS melee attack, you count as standing still. So all your rooted, um, all your rooted bonuses, like the 50 damage resistance and the 50% more damage from unarmed attacks, um, come into play. And then, so we got double damage, up to double damage from Iron Fist, and then. 50% more damage again 
Um, I'm not sure if it multiplies or if it's additive. Let's say that's triple damage now. 50% more damage of the double damage. Um, let's just go with that. Um, cause it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because you're killing everything in one hit. Uh, Gunslinger doesn't matter. That's bonus for sometimes you can't reach things and you have to shoot them. Uh, sneak is obviously very important because this is all about sneak attacking. Um, for the bonus damage you get from Ninja. So your melee sneak attacks do 10 times normal damage. Now it would be 10 times if I was using an actual melee weapon because I'm using an unarmed weapon. It's four and a half times, but that's still four and a half times the triple damage. So we're looking at, what, 12, 16, 15? Um, bad math. And uh, I guess 13 and a half. 13 and a half times damage. And Blitz. Blitz is also very important because Blitz lets you dash at the second level pretty far. It's like the length of an, an average size room. So what that means is... Oh, hey! Uh, welcome, Deuce. Yeah, what that means is you can walk into a room. I'll show you an example a little bit later once I find a room. And you kind of omni-slash your way around and kill everything. And if you, as long as you make sure you're doing it in the right order, you'll stealth attack everything. Um, and everything is dead. And then you go on about your day. And then I got Bloody Mess just for the bonus damage. And it's occasionally fun to punch things apart. So, that's pretty much it. That's everything that's important. Uh, My Alert Queen is normally a pretty big like screen filling size boss and uh, even though I may be able to kill her quickly if I get to jump if she gets the jump on me I'm gonna die pretty fast yeah there she is Marler Queen alright so here's a, an excellent test so this is without any level 50 she has a lot of resistances, so I, she might actually survive. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's probably going to survive. Um, so let's see what happens. Oh, well, this, this is an example of what happens when things don't quite die. Oh, never mind. Wow. Even more than I expected. Alright, so that's like a big boss character. Um, and uh, this, that's an even better example of why this build bit breaks the game. I like that sound. Let's make it dead. Dead! And this guy's level 5, so he wouldn't really much Bloody mess! Beheaded! Invisible death! It's very predator-like. But I think this is a super mutant behemoth. Yeah, there he is. Level 50, just wandering around doing his thing. You ready for this? I'm going to make sure I get behind him. Just in case it takes more than one swing. Oh, he notices something. That's behind enough. Oh, I think he might be even more durable than the, uh, than the queen. Oh no, probably not. Nope. Oh.
Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. So the chat, the chat is going one punch. I should have named this character Saitama, I think. 